It's a tutorial on how to play We Made a Pact by Hey Rosetta. It's a pretty simple song. Uh, it's mostly chords. Um, it's in the key of G. And um, so I'm just going to show you the chords you play down here. But I'm going to show them up here because it's a little easier to see. So um, starts out with the G chord. G, B, and D. Then it's A minor. A, C, and E. And then F sharp diminished, which is F sharp, A, and C. And back to G. So... Then it's G, A minor, B minor, C. Uh, and then it's C, D, E. And then a little trick show down here. It's a little easier to see. So you go C, D, and E, and then C chord, B single note, D chord, G single note, and then the G chord inverted, so G, D, and B. Play C chord B D chord G and then the G chord. And you want to play the C chord with these fingers so that you can hit this one with your pinky. And that's the intro, and sometimes in the verses, but also at times there's a step in between this and this part. Whereas in the lyrics it's gone, a parachute not opening, you'd be playing E minor, G, A minor, B minor, C. And then and that's all the verses. Uh, in the left hand, it's very simple. Um, you can really do whatever you want. You could be hitting single note, so G, A, G, A, F sharp. Just be playing the bass note of whatever you're playing in the right hand. You could be playing octaves. Just play it two different octaves. Or you could play the uh, first and the fifth of the chord. Like that. Um, what I usually do is just play the single note for the first verse because the song's kind of building up. After the first instrumental bit, then come in with the first and the fifth, and then for the part where there's the uh, harmony with the other vocalist, throw in the octaves instead, because that's when the song's really built up. Um, so, usually start single, then first and fifth, then the octaves. But you can do it however you want. Uh, in the instrumental part, you're going to be playing chords, and um, in the left hand, you just play the chords, and then in the right hand, you'll be playing the individual notes of that same chord, just four notes of it. So it starts out with a G chord, 
you'd be playing the G chord in the left hand here, but then in the right hand, you're playing the individual notes, starting with the top G, ending bottom G, G, D, B, G. You play it four times, then you go to the E minor chord, but it'll be a little different format for the right hand, it'll keep things mostly the same. You just switch the D to an E, so now you're playing the minor chord up here. Only three times for the E minor chord. It's kind of weird timing. Sometimes it's four, sometimes it's three. So you do four on the G, but then only three. You go to E major, which is G sharp, E, B, G sharp. You do that one four times, then A minor. trickier, still mostly the same pattern. So you do G twice, and then there's D dominant seventh, which is D, F sharp, A, and C, D dominant seventh, and in the right hand you'll be playing C, A, F sharp, which are part of that chord, and then the E, which is not part of that chord. But you play C, A, F sharp, E. And then it's back to G. And you'll play that starting at the D, and then one starting at the G. From the top of this ast last section, yeah, ast section, that's great. Um, from the top of the last section, and then it's back to the D dominant seven. But instead of doing the G's again, you just end it here on a G. I like to end it with the octaves here. G inverted here, because um, then you're getting right back into the verses, which are be down here. So the whole thing of the instrumental part starts with G four times. E minor three times. sounds good and you can do that in the left hand if you didn't like doing the chords you could be doing single notes you could be doing an octave same as with the verses but uh, if you want to add on to that 
make it more authentic to the song, which has more than just the piano part, then you can kind of co-op what the strings parts are doing in the song. So uh, instead of just playing the chords, you still stays mostly the same, but there's some leading chords. So uh, for everything but the first G. So the first G stays the same. And then for this, for the E minor, you're going to only play it twice. On the third one, you're going to lead into the E major with E, F sharp, and then chord. switch to the seventh on the fourth one. You can either do it like this. I think it sounds better to play the seventh note in the bass. Play the G down here. So you go. For the D, you just play it like before, just three times through. For the last part, you leave it the same as well. Just... And that's it. Um, sounds better that way, if, and that'll get you the feel that the strings give it, because you're probably not playing with cellos and violins. Um, that's almost the whole song. There's also, at the end of the second uh, time you play that part, there's a little part that I can't really figure out, so you're on your own there. I sort of have the start of it, so you'd go... Uh, and then right here is where it starts. you want to figure it out, that's kind of what I've got so far. It's B, G, A, B, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, B, F sharp, G, A, B, C, B. And then you hold that and I don't really know. I don't know what to do for the left hand for that. It's kind of hopeless. I downloaded even some software that was supposed to make it easy to do and I still couldn't figure it out so you're probably on your own on that but it's how you play the rest of the song and uh, should be good enough you can end you can end at this part and maybe just slow it down something like that I don't know come up with your own ending